beyond the pale when government help hurts. We've all heard the saying, uh, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Well, nowhere is that more evident than in the overreach of governments. The intentions may start off noble, aiming to create a safer, more regulated society. It starts subtly with a nudge here, a regulation there, all in the name of keeping us safe and sound. These small changes often go unnoticed at first, but those nudges become shoves. Those regulations become restrictions. What began as minor adjustments soon escalate into significant barriers. Suddenly, the very entity that's supposed to be protecting our freedoms is the one actively dismantling them. The chains of bureaucracy tighten and the doors of opportunity close. It's the frog in the boiling pot scenario, except the frog is starting to realize the water's getting a little too hot for comfort. The gradual increase in temperature mirrors the slow erosion of our liberties. The question is, will we jump before it's too late? Will we recognize the danger and take action to preserve our freedoms? Or will we allow ourselves to be boiled alive by the very system that promised to protect us? The choice is ours, but the consequences are dire. We must stay vigilant and question the true cost of government help. Pulling the strings unelected, unaccountable and calling the shots. These are the hidden forces shaping our world, often without our knowledge or consent. Let's talk about the puppet masters behind the curtain, shall we? The World Health Organization, an entity that influences global health policies, and the World Economic Forum, a powerful network of business and political leaders shaping economic agendas. These organizations wield immense influence over our lives, making decisions without direct accountability. They operate behind closed doors away from public scrutiny. They claim to represent humanity's best interests, but their actions often tell a different story. Who elected them? Who gave them this power? These are questions that need answers. These questions go unanswered, leaving a void where transparency should be. It's time to pull back the curtain and demand accountability. We need to know who is making these decisions and why. We must advocate for systems that prioritize the voices of the many over the interests of the few. Only then can we ensure a future where power is truly in the hands of the people. It's about creating a world where every voice matters and every decision is made with transparency and accountability. Watching you, watching me. The Panopticon updated for the 21st century. Remember that creepy feeling you get when you realize you're being watched? Well, get used to it because in the digital age, Big Brother isn't just watching, he's recording, analyzing and storing every move you make. Our phones track our location, our social media feeds monitor our thoughts and opinions, and facial recognition software is becoming increasingly ubiquitous. We become prisoners in a digital panopticon, constantly under surveillance, our every move scrutinized and recorded. The chilling effect on dissent and free expression is undeniable. After all, who wants to speak out against the system when they know they're being watched? Manufacturing. Let's consent how they make you think what they want. In today's world, the subtle art of persuasion has reached new heights. The most effective propaganda is the kind you don't even realize is propaganda. It's woven seamlessly into the fabric of our daily lives. It's the news you consume, the entertainment you enjoy, and the conversations you have with friends and family. The very fabric of your social media feeds is meticulously curated to influence your thoughts and actions. We're bombarded with messages designed to shape our perceptions, mold our opinions, and steer our decisions in subtle yet powerful ways. These messages are crafted to control our behavior, often without us even realizing it. The media landscape is increasingly consolidated, with fewer and fewer corporations holding the reins. A handful of powerful entities control the flow of information to the masses, dictating what we see, hear, and ultimately believe. These corporations, in turn, are beholden to advertisers and government regulators, creating a complex web of influence. This creates a feedback loop that reinforces the dominant narratives and silences dissenting voices, ensuring that only certain viewpoints are amplified. It's a system designed to manufacture consent, to create an illusion of choice while keeping the public docile and compliant. In this way, the powers that be maintain control shaping society to fit their own agendas, often at the expense of true freedom and independent thought.